Hello everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. I wanted to create a video today to show you how to take complex iPhone Builder data, meaning there's parent forms and, and different subforms, and put it all into Google Docs in one linear sheet. Um, so there are a few boundaries to this. Um, the first one is really all your subforms have to be single paging. So it is only for, for a lot of long collection forms and you can't have more than 256 elements and that is a Google Docs limitation, um, but 256 columns in, in a sheet. So this is for some smaller sheets and um, just a good way to, to consolidate all your data into one sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and create a new Google Docs spreadsheet. And I'm going to rename this, so import JSON video. And what we need to do is we need to write our own script. So the old way I did this was with import XML, which is a script built into Google Docs. We actually have to, to write our own script here. So we're going to go into data actually tools and script manager and I did not want to write my own script so I, I did some searching on the internet and I found on github there's an example of a import JSON script that's very similar to the import XML so we'll select blank project and I will pay, post this link down below but this is actually the link we want to want to copy all the information out of here this is the entire script so I'd like to thank Chris Keller for writing this on github it has been very useful for me. Um, so I'm going to copy this, go back into our project, and paste it over top of here. So now again, we have all of our code in here. So what we want to do is just rename this Google Docs JSON video. Select OK. Now it is saving the project there. That's perfect. So we'll close out of this and we want to go back into the import JSON video here and just reload our script manager to double check that the script was saved. Oh, so let's double check it here again. Let's edit this script. Looks like it didn't paste everything in, so we'll paste it in again here and we'll, make, we'll save it again. Now it should be good. So let's go in and just again do a quick refresh. There we go. Now we have everything we need. So we'll exit out of this and what we want to do is go into here and type in import JSON. So equals import JSON, open parentheses, then open a quote. Now what we need to do is the first parameter in here is to get the URL from iPhone Builder. So we open up the iPhone Builder control panel and we'll select the data tab and select the, the form we want to use. We want to select the parent form, which I have a few subforms attached with this, which I'm not assigned to see. I'll select shift and select the JSON feed. Now this is the live data feed coming from iPhone Builder, so we just copy this, go back into the spreadsheet here, and paste it in. Now this feed is not authenticated yet, so we have to authenticate it here. So we're going to go and username equals the username, and password equals the password. And then we're going to end these quotes. And we're actually going to skip the center parameter so we can put two commas in here. And then we're going to open up quotes again for, to take our third parameter. So directly before you put the and at the end of the, the data feed URL, we want to copy everything in between the underscore and right before the and. We want to paste that into here and then put slash record at the end. And end it with a, parent or a quote and then a parenthesis to finish it off. Now what we have here is we have two parameters. Our first one here is our live URL, and our second one is the way we're going to separate out this data here. So we're going to separate it by the data building inspection tag and the record tag as well. So I'm going to select enter here, and right now you'll see it's thinking. So it's running the script and it's pulling everything in from iPhone Builder. And you'll see it's pulling in even all the metadata too. So if the metadata is not important to you, I would just recommend hiding these cells and things like that. But we'll go through here and we'll see this is all our parent form information, which the data that was collected by me starts here. So you'll see we have a few fields here, and then next thing you know, we're already into the subform. So we'll go into here and we can see some subform data, so pass, fail, things like that. Um, so now this is all automatically in one sheet with one simple function, instead of before when we had to take everything in many different sheets and consolidate into one. Um, and again, the rules are this or the rules for this are that it must be a single paging subform for this to work. So I hope this video was helpful. Please post any comments or questions below. Thanks a lot.